let's take a look at enums and advanced enums. Alright, we found some back and tell once more. And in this tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at enums and advanced enums. Now, enums stands short for enumerations, or that's at least what I assume. I'm actually not 100% sure, but that makes a lot of sense. And the idea is that they are a type of a data type that you can predefine certain elements or you can predefine certain values in, and they can be very useful. So, for example, let's take a normal example, right, of a normal enum. For this in the package, we're going to right-click new Java class, and we'll choose the enum right here, and this is going to be the difficulty. Because that is a very easy thing to sort of enumerate or to have in an enum, because while you can expand it, right, usually it's not going to expand by, you know, a hundred different options down the line. It is usually going to be something like easy, and then you get medium over here. You might also get hard, and maybe you also get something like extreme or hardcore, something like that, right? So those would basically be the difficulty options in a game, and you can think of enums sort of being something you get from a drop box, right? When you have a box and you can select one of the elements that is usually going to be sort of like an enum. If we now had the difficulty over here, right? Once again, data type is just the name of the enum here. Difficulty, this is the game difficulty. And that can then be equal to difficulty, let's say equals to medium. There you go. And we can even print this out. So we can say system out print line and we can say difficulty is game difficulty. And if I were to run this, difficulty is medium. Awesome. A pretty cool thing with enums is obviously a switch statement because it is predefined what values the an enum variable can take. A switch statement is usually a great way to basically determine, hey, what I'm going to do depending on the game difficulty, let's say. But then the question is, okay, what is now an advanced enum? Well, an advanced enum is very similar to a normal enum. However, we also define certain values inside of it. For this, I have a thing that's a little bit closer to Minecraft, although what I will say is that this is not how Minecraft does it. I just wanted to relate an example that's, you know, similar to it. But please don't imagine that this is exactly how Minecraft does it. So we could imagine a tool material enum, right? So we're going to choose the name tool material. And once again, this is going to be an enum over here. And what this is going to do is it's going to have a different kinds of materials. So there's going to be attributes that this enum has. And let's say they are private, right? So a private string over here called a display name, let's say, right? So this is the display name of this particular tool material. It might also have a private integer called durability because that makes sense for a tool material, right? Durability, right? And then we might also have a private float over here called mining speed. Right, and we can now make a constructor out of this. So we can literally just make a tool material constructor right here. This does not have the public keyword because only inside of this enum can we actually use this. So it doesn't need that. So we can then have the name right here. We can have an end durability and we can have the float mining speed. And inside of the constructor here, of course, we're going to say this dot display name is equal to name, right? This dot durability equals to durability and this on mining speed would be equal to the mining speed so nothing that i haven't seen before now with these private methods we can't do anything so what we're going to do is we're going to generate some getters for this what we can actually do is just inside of this enum we just right click and we can go we can go to generate we can generate the getters over here i'm going to make sure that to select all of them so just select one hold shift and then select the last one and then everything in between gets selected you can say hit OK, and you can see we get the display name, we get the durability and the mining speed. Pretty cool. What it also generated is this semicolon over here. We're going to delete this because actually I don't want this here yet because we're not done quite just yet. Right, and now how to actually enumerate things. Well, let's say we have wood here as a tool material and you can see this is now the constructor, right? So this would be wood or yeah, this this would now be wood, let's say. And then we have a durability of one, let's say, and a mining speed of, I don't know, 0.3 or something like that. Now, if you, and that's 0.3F here in this case. And now if wood is the only tool material for an advanced enum, you would end this with a semicolon over here. However, if you had another one, right, let's say, for example, stone over here, then you would do a comma. So the individual enums, right, similar to here, are separated with a comma. And then the last one ends with a semicolon. So let's say there's a stone over here. Let's say durability, I don't know, maybe four. And then the mining speed is like, I don't know, 1.5. Let's say there you go. And you can see this one ends with a semicolon while they are separated by a comma. Very important detail. Right, so we can have wood, stone, and let's just say I duplicate this, and this is going to be uh, iron, let's say that's going to be okay, right, iron here as well, and then durability is going to be seven, and then maybe mining speed, 
275, something like that. And the possibility that I now have, right, is I can go in here and I can say, let's say I have a tool material, right? This is this is my axe material, right? And that is maybe equal to a tool material dot stone, right? So I have a stone axe. And I duplicate this. This is going to be, let's say, my shovel material. And that is not going to be stone. Maybe I actually have an iron shovel. That's pretty cool. And I could then, for example, say system out print line, right? My axe has, and then I can say my axe material dot get durability, and this is how much durability it has, right? And I can duplicate this and I can say, hey, my shovel in turn actually has a mining speed, right? Has this much mining speed. Once again, this is not the exact way that Minecraft implements things like a tool material. It is actually similar, right? It is not too dissimilar. It also uses an advanced enum like this, but it is implemented differently. But just to get you an example, right? To get you in the headspace, right? We're soon going to, or you're hopefully soon going to sort of graduate to actually do using Minecraft modding, right? To actually jumping into that. So that can be quite useful to start using examples that are similar to this. And what we'll find is, right, if I do this, you can see that the axe over here now has four durability and the shovel has a 2.75 mining speed. The cool thing about this is because they are predefined, right, you can still easily use them for all sorts of things. And the advanced enums really freaking cool. Oh yeah, that is an example of both an enum as well as an advanced enum. They can, of course, get a little more complicated, especially the advanced variety over here. As you could probably imagine, right? You could do all sorts of things in here. It is more or less a normal class. But yeah, that is basically enums and advanced enums. We're going to see plenty of those examples in the future as well. When you're actually go jumping into the Minecraft code, there's, there's plenty of those available. But that's already it for this tutorial right here. Next time in this video, we'll try and catch some exceptions. Hope to see you there. So, yeah.